Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Luke Ness Monster. Today, we are going to be talking about the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, and uh, pretty much some of the reveals we already got for it, and then some that I think we could be getting in the future. Real quick though, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down, hit that like button, and subscribe, because we are actually doing a giveaway. We're giving away this Mando build a pack. It is a little hard to see. I guess I will move it over a little bit for you guys. But because we had 7,000 subscribers, I'm giving that away, and there is still one day left to enter. I'm actually picking the winner tomorrow. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to get on hit the like button and subscribe. And then go check out my giveaway video. It'll be linked in the description and pinned in the card right now. You have to comment on that giveaway video to enter, and then I'll pick a random comment to win. So yeah, there's still one day left if you have not entered. So yeah, make sure to go and enter in the giveaway. Pretty exciting, and if you don't get into this one, not a big deal, because we're definitely going to be doing more giveaways in the future. And I also do want to remind everybody that at 7,500 subs, I will be releasing my trailer for the Star Wars uh, fan film that I'm working on, Hunted. It is super awesome, and we actually just finished putting a trailer together, and I cannot wait to show you guys. So make sure to hit that sub button, because at 7,500 subs, I will be releasing it. So, like I said, go down, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, let's go on and uh, just jump right into the video. So, first up, I do want to go over the already confirmed figures we do have uh, for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Then, like I said, I'm going to go over the last wave, because there are already two waves confirmed. And then I want to go over the last wave, and then some other figures we could possibly get. So, the first wave will actually consist of Endor Leia, Endor Han... Skiffguard Lando, the Scout Trooper, and Wicket. Overall, this wave is kind of mixed. I do think the Scout Trooper and Wicket are great releases. Wicket is going to be a brand new figure because we have not seen him in the Black Series yet, so that's awesome. Always love to see new figures. And then the Scout Trooper has not been seen since 2019 when he got an archive release, and so it's really, really nice to be getting another version of him. And plus, you know, the Scout Trooper is just awesome. So yeah, I think Scout Trooper is a great uh, pick for a uh, 40th anniversary figure. Endor Leia and Endor Han, on the other hand, are a little iffy. I think they're both great figures, but they just got released in 2020. Actually, it might even... No, actually, it was 2021 that they got released, so it got released last year, and they kind of peg-warmed a little bit. Leia more than Han did, but, you know, because of that, it just feels like there's other versions of Leia and Han from this film you could do. That would make more sense, uh, particularly Boosh Leia or Slave Leia would be much better. And like I said, there are other versions of Han as well, but I will get into those in a little bit. And then Skiffguard Lando just makes zero sense to me. Hasbro knows Lando pegworms. He is the figure that's always on the shelves, no matter if he's a, a Black Series vintage collection or what version of the outfit he's in, he always peg warms, and plus he just got an archive release, which is hitting stores now. So because of this, you're literally going to get uh, General Landos from the uh, like Galaxy-style packaging, you're going to get archive Skiffguard Landos, and you're going to get 40, 40th Anniversary Return of the Jedi Landos all on the shelves at the same time, because nobody's buying them. It just kind of blows my mind that I decided to do this Lando again, just after archiving the last version. Just really silly to me. The second wave is also pretty good, but this one is consisting of a Stormtrooper. Stormtroopers are awesome. We love seeing Stormtroopers, and like I said, they're army builders. So the more you release of them, the more they're going to sell, and they sell pretty well already. So like I said, getting more Stormtroopers on the market is a great idea. And there is also another Black Series Ewok. This one was actually the exclusive Ewok that was part of the Heroes of Endor 4-pack. So it's really, really nice to be getting this one as a single release, considering that the only other way you could have got it was a part of a $109 4-pack. So yeah, it's really nice to get this one uh, as a single release. That's a great choice, and uh, like I said, makes a pretty good figure. But again, it's the other three that get a little iffy. Chewbacca is awesome, and I if they made a brand new mold for him, I am all for it. But knowing Hasbro, they're just going to re-release the classic Chewbacca that they've been releasing ever since, you know, whenever the first Chewbacca was released. And it's not going to be any different, which means that the, uh, the archive version of Chewbacca just got released this year as well. And is going to be hitting stores here pretty soon. So it's also one of those figures like you're going to get both a 40th anniversary Chewbacca and an archive Chewbacca on shelves at the same time. Which just makes no sense to me. 
And um, maybe if it was a different version of Chewbacca, that's fine. But like I said, they're just going to reuse and re-release that old Chewbacca mold, which just doesn't make any sense to me. Bib Fortuna is a decent figure. He did just get released very early 2021. I'm sorry, very, very early 2022. I do apologize. It was 2022. And so it's interesting to see him get a re-release very, very quickly. But it's one of those figures, like he's a background alien and I think he is decently popular. So I don't mind him getting a re-release. It's just a little surprising to see it so soon. And then, of course, Palpatine. Palpatine's great, but like I said, he just got an archive release. If they were doing a re-release of him and his throne, I'd be all for that. But considering that he's getting an archive release as well, it just kind of seems too soon. And then there was also two more figures revealed. I'm not going to be considering these two a part of the third wave, just because they weren't announced as a part of a wave, so I'm not going to be considering it when going through my list. But there's also the Endor Rebel Trooper, which is amazing, 10 out of 10, love the Endor Trooper. And then there's also Boba Fett, which is also really solid, but the problem is they're going to make it a deluxe figure and then not include the extra accessories. So it's just going to be a really expensive Boba Fett for no reason. So there we go, we've been over all of the already announced figures. Let's go ahead and get into some of my predictions. So if you didn't know, most of these uh, 40th anniversary waves are waves of five, and normally there are three waves a year. So because of this, we're going to go over and uh, look at the third wave that they have yet to announce. I, this is what I personally think it's going to be. Obviously, it is probably not going to be this, and it will probably change and uh, get announced later. But this is just what I personally think will be in this third wave. And like I said before, I'm not counting Boba and the Endor Trooper as a part of this third wave. We don't really know if they will be or not, but uh, they weren't announced as a part of a full wave, so I'm just not counting it as a part of the full wave. One thing that I found really, really surprising is in that the entire first two waves, there is not a Black Series Luke in any of these waves. Luke is the main character of the film, and there is not a version of his figure in this at all. Really, really surprising to me. So I do think we're going to end up getting the Jabba's Palace Luke in this uh in, in this this wave. It's going to be the brand new version of Luke though. It's not going to be the old Walmart exclusive. It's going to be the brand new mold that they originally had the 3D renders for the Rancor. They actually did end up using this body with just a little bit of differences for the Mandalorian Luke that was just announced. But they're going to change it up and use like the 3D rendered version and release that as a uh, 40th anniversary Jabba's Palace Luke. I think it's almost guaranteed considering that they pretty much made the figure already. And so they're not going to let it go to waste. They're going to repack it. Next up, I think they're going to do a re-release of the Imperial Royal Guard. I think, of course, they're releasing Palpatine, so you got to release a Royal Guard to go with him. This one's a pretty good choice, in my opinion. I do love the Royal Guard, and it'd be nice to see him on shelves again because it has been quite a while since he's had a release. Number three, I'm going to give it to Carbonite Han. This is Han in his, like, white shirt, not, like, the Carbonite brick version. But it's him in his white shirt, like, as soon as he gets out of Carbonite. This is the main outfit Han wears in the beginning of the film. And we have not gotten a figure of it yet. So I think this is going to be a brand new figure, head to toe. And it's going to be a pretty solid Han. And this is what I think. I think that, um, you know, it makes sense to do this figure. Uh, will they do it? Probably not. But um, I think it, it's a great version of Han. And it's much better than a re-release of an Endor Han, in my opinion. Unfortunately, though, I do think we're going to be getting another Leia, and that's not why I'm saying unfortunately. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be a repack rather than a new Leia, and I think it's either going to be a Slave Leia or a Boosh Leia. Considering that, uh, you know, she just got an archive release, this figure is in production, and considering that Skiffguard Lando just got a archive release and is now getting a 40th anniversary release means that Boosh Leia probably is going to be the same thing considering that, like I said, if they're going to do it for Lando, they'll probably do it for this Leia as well. This is also the most popular version of Leia in the Black series, which means that her demand would be up and it would make more sense to do a second release of her as well. And I wouldn't really complain because I think it'd be pretty cool to get her on the card like that. Slave Leia is an interesting one though. I don't think they do this one. Like I said, there's a ton of controversy over this figure. Mostly made by Disney. I don't think a ton of fans care that much. It's more like Disney making the controversy. But I don't think they're going to re-release this figure, unfortunately. I think it would be great. And, you know, this is my list, so I'm putting her on the list. But um, there's, there's a slight chance, I think. And that's only because they did include her in the archive fan vote. And because of that, that means they are willing to make the figure. Like, it's completely not off the table. And so because of that, I do think it's possible, and I would love to get her in the Black Series again. I'd prefer a brand new mold, though, because the mold that we got before was just horrendous. 
Number five is another figure that I thought was really weird that it was missing, and that's R2-D2, but I think we're going to be getting a Sail Barge R2-D2. This is going to be the version with, like, the table and the drinks and everything that we do see uh, in uh, Return of the Jedi on Java Sail Barge. This is a pretty cool version of R2-D2. We have not gotten an R2-D2 in the line since... I want to say it was 2017 since the 40th anniversary. Nope, I lied. It was 2020 with Empire Strikes Back. But this one is going to be kind of like a sandy version of R2. And it's going to have, of course, like the bar with the drinks and everything. So yeah, pretty cool figure overall. And it's one we have not gotten the Black Series yet. This would be a perfect opportunity to release it. Next up, I do want to go over some vehicles I think we could get. And then I want to go over some figures that are missing from my list and Hasbro's list. Because there are a lot of figures missing. But anyway, first up for vehicles, I do think it's possible we could get a Jabba Skiff. It is a relatively small vehicle, and it's one that I think would be super cool to get in the Black Series. Um, it's like, like I said, a perfect size. Make it a maybe $50 to $75 set and include one figure. Include the weak way, as he is one of like Jabba's goons. And it would be a pretty awesome set in my opinion. I'd love to see it in the Black Series. Will we get it? Who knows? But I do think there is a good possibility with it being the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Another vehicle I think we could get is a re-release of the Endor speeder bike. Now, this could be just a straight-up re-release of the 20, I want to say 20, like 14, 13 version. Uh, I want to say it was 2014 with the Scout Trooper riding it, but the Scout Trooper is getting an archive release, so I was thinking maybe they could do an Endor, Luke, or Leia, considering that they did ride the speeder bikes quite a bit. But, like I said, Endor Leia is also getting a uh, re-release here, so... I think the only other option we could have is a Endor Luke riding a speeder bike. That'd be pretty cool. I think I'd prefer the Biker Scout, but I do think an Endor Luke would be pretty cool as well. And like I said, it's just really weird that out of five waves of or three waves of figure, three waves of five, there's only one Luke Skywalker, and that's from my list. Who even knows if that my list is going to be correct or not? But yeah, I just thought that was really weird. So I do think any version of Luke we could get would be great. And if it's him on a speeder bike, I'm fine with that. So now we're going to be going over some figures that are just blatantly missing. And uh, some of these would never go on card anyway, just because they're too big of figures and they would, like I said, never go on cards. But we're going to go over this list and it is pretty interesting. So first up is Jabba and Salacious Crumb. Two pretty important characters from the film. Salacious did get a re-release in like the uh, Animal 4-pack or whatever it is. That was a Disney Store exclusive. And then Jabba hasn't been seen in a long time. So it would be really amazing to get a re-release of Jabba or even a brand new Jabba. However they want to do it. But I do think Jabba needs a re-release. Especially with it being the 40th anniversary. Another figure that is just kind of missing. We haven't seen it in the Black Series yet. Is a Max Rebo band. I think this is, again, a great time to release a Max Rebo band. It fits the theme. It's the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. A ton of people want Max Rebo and the Max Rebo band, so I think Hasbro's got to go and make the Max Rebo band. But it is missing from the line, and we haven't heard anything on it. Another figure that is just kind of missing from all of this is a Vader. Where is Vader? Like, he is the main villain of the, the trilogy. I, I know you could argue that Palpatine is the main villain, but, you know, Vader is the main villain he's the big bad guy and he's just missing from these waves i don't know what's up with that i do think we need a brand new vader that has the, like a brand new removable helmet and everything to where you can see the face underneath that would be incredible but uh, you know we'll have to wait and see but i do think vader's got to re get to get represented somehow in the 40th anniversary I'm going to kind of go through a few figures here that are missing pretty quickly. There's a, quite a few figures here so like i said i'm going to go through them kind of quickly but there is c3po the ATST driver, Slave Leia, Admiral Akbar, the other Ewok that we got in the line, Nine Nub, and a ton of background aliens from like Jabba's palace and everything like that. There's also the uh, Han in Carbonite, the actual Carbonite brick itself, we're missing that one as well. The Rancor Keeper we'll miss we're missing. A re-release of the Gamorrean Guard we're missing from all these lists. And also, one that I think is really, really big that's missing are the Force Ghosts. I think Force Ghosts would be a great time to, to release. Like I said, especially with it being 40th anniversary. It's the first time we saw all three of them together. Give us a Force Ghost 3-pack. Give us a Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Anakin Force Ghost 3-pack. I think I would be happy if they just gave us Anakin, though, because Anakin is the last one we are missing. But I do think we need some Force Ghost representation. And, uh, you know, like I said, no better time to do it than now. So anyway, that is all of my thoughts on my predictions and even the ones that were revealed for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. 
Comment down below what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.